Good morning. That's the. There we go. Are you ready for your big boy bed today? You're gonna have a big boy bed. Are you so excited? So excited. A big boy bed. Mm-hmm. It's called Daddy. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Big boy bed upstairs. It, where mommy's about to to make your big boy bed right now. Yes. If you're wondering what kind of bed we're converting Bash to, we're just gonna use his crib to convert it to a full, and we're going to use a lull mattress. They are today's sponsor, but we'll touch more on that later. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is move this out. His room is not the biggest room, so if I do the full bed, he's got so many toys stacked up in here, so just ignore that. It, this room is screaming for a makeover. So if I move his bed to a full, this is gonna get really tight. And so Brandon and I decided, you know what, he doesn't even have to have this dresser here because we're gonna do the Ikea systems in their closet and he really just doesn't need this. Also, he's no longer using the changing table, so it's kind of just sitting here. The bulk of his clothes are in his closet. We did think about putting it right here in front of the window, and that's still potentially an option, but I just don't know. But at the moment, we're just going to take it out of here completely. I see that camera. Don't touch the camera, watch out. <laughs> All right, so I got the dresser out of here. It was not easy, but it will give me more space to make this into the full. But at the moment, we need to get little Margo up. Hi, good morning. <laughs> so I think this is what Margo's gonna wear today. It's cute, and the weather is finally getting warmer outside. Um, it's been great these last couple days, so we'll do long sleeves, but with some shorts. Uh, Sebastian is still in his pajamas because we have like an order that we do things and he didn't want to get dressed before her even though I got him up first. So we're gonna just get dressed and then we're gonna go have some breakfast and then we'll work on the room. The kids are having Vans waffles today and I've just poured them both their milk. Bash can have regular milk and Margo is on Ripple until she's no longer allergic to dairy. <laughs> is it good guys? Yeah? Yeah, you can watch Bible Adventures upstairs. That's fine. No, no, it's not. What do you say? Me, I, yes, you. That's right. Yes, you can. Okay, so it's a little bit later in the morning, and I don't know if I ever talked about this on here, but for like the last couple months, Margo has dropped her morning nap, and both of the kids go down for their nap now between one and two, and it's been working out for us. However, Margo had a horrible night last night. We didn't need to go in and get her, but she just kept waking up and then going back to sleep, kept waking up and going back to sleep, and she wasn't crying, but she just was up in her crib and then she'd, you know, lull herself back down. Thankfully, like I said, we didn't have to go in to like intervene or help her go back to sleep, but her sleep was broken and now she's really tired. But it works out for me because I was just able to put her down for an early nap and I can work on the bed now without her having to be in here with me. So it could not have actually worked out better for me. <laughs> Bash is in the playroom watching Bible Adventures and like I said, I'm about to start on the bed. So what feels like seconds for you all is actual hours for me. This took two hours just to get all the old toddler bed pieces off and then to do the conversion kit. So it's these wooden rails and then the footboard on. And oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel so empowered. Like I know this is nothing, but I never build. I always leave it to Brandon. So to be able to do this myself is like huge. Next, we have to do the wooden slats that would go underneath the mattress. Before I start on that, I wanna kinda of clear all this out just so I can see what kind of space we're really working with with this bed. I don't think that we're gonna keep it centered on the wall. We are also gonna paint it blue in just a couple days. Bash is really into outer space right now and I love navy. We did a navy wall in our apartment and I loved it. And so I figured even if he outgrows outer space, the navy wall would still look good with whatever like his new interests are because it's pretty masculine and it's fine, but I'm really thinking 
I'm loving the bed off center, not quite to the wall here because I wanna get him a telescope. Um, and I may actually move it over a little bit more, but I do like this. And then right here, we're gonna do a big etagere. So that would be cute. And maybe some sort of like gallery of photos and pictures over the bed on the blue wall. And then the rest of the walls are gonna stay this gray color, which is First Star by Sherwin-Williams. The shelving unit over here will just have like fun stuff on it that he'll like. And then probably bookshelves on this wall and maybe a mirror or so. And yeah, just make it fun for him. Oh, you're ready to ride? I have a target order. Um, and chicken yes, you can have some chicken nuggets. We're gonna stop at Chick-fil-A on the way or on the way back, because it's right across the street. And hopefully we can beat the rain because it's starting to get really dark. <laughs> All right, so we just got the target order. We're in the Chick-fil-A line and the line is double wrapped around the building. But while I'm sitting here, I can kind of explain to you the theme for Bash's room. So he, like I said, I think I said earlier, he wants an astronaut theme room. He's really on astronauts right now. Like that's the birthday he wants. And I'm just not really down for making his bedroom like a full blown theme than him being over astronauts in, you know, six months. And I want to get him. Like I cannot vlog today to save my life. I think it's about time I come and grab this. This is all that is left of the balloon garland from Easter. Easter was like four days ago. And yeah, that's dead. Margo and I just finished eating our Chick-fil-A and Sebastian is still having his. We still don't know if Margo's allergic to peanuts, so when we get Chick-fil-A, she can only get like grilled nuggets because everything else is fried in peanut oil. But she does fine with the grilled nuggets. If she is allergic, she still doesn't have to completely miss out on Chick-fil-A. She can just eat like nuggets and fruit and be just fine. She's completely like losing it. You can probably hear her in the background. Uh, because she's tired and so uh, we haven't done like this two naps a day thing like I said earlier in quite a while she definitely could still use the second nap so as soon as Bash is done we're gonna go upstairs he actually is not gonna have to take a nap because he doesn't have a bed to sleep in he doesn't want you to touch no touching no touching let him eat Okay, okay, okay. Right. Margo is down for her nap, and now we can move on to the mattress. Sebastian's mattress and his box spring are both from Lull, and I am so excited to be partnered with Lull for this portion of my video because Lull is a brand that I believe in. And if you've been a longtime viewer of this channel, then you will know that about three years ago, Brandon and I also started sleeping on a Lull mattress, and it has been a game changer especially coming from a spring mattress. And now we are a lull family. Sebastian has his and baby Margo will definitely be getting a lull mattress when the time comes. What I love about lull is how simple it is from start to finish to get your mattress. You just order the mattress size of your choice online and they deliver it to your door in a box. With your purchase, you will also get a 365 night risk-free trial, a lifetime warranty and free shipping and free return. And the setup is super easy and convenient. I was able to do it by myself with no help from Brandon. And if I can do it, you definitely can. And what you get though, when you order a lull mattress is an affordable high end, high quality three layer memory foam mattress, which is the perfect mix of comfort and support. Something else that drew me into the low mattresses, especially not only as someone who sleeps on one, but for my child is that each mattress has a cooling gel infused layer. So summertime is coming. I don't have to worry about my baby overheating in his bed. And that is super important to me. Another thing that I want to share about Lull, you guys know I've been on my sustainability journey is that because their mattresses come compressed in a box, they were able to reduce waste from their packaging to up to 70%, and that is huge. And also, low mattresses are made free of harmful materials, so all the mattresses are made free from heavy metals, lead, and things that will deplete our ozone. So I am happy to support a company who is also supporting our environment. So if you are interested in checking out a low mattress for yourself, be sure to check the description box below for my link because that will allow you to receive $250 off of your purchase. And let me know what you think if you order a low mattress. Thank you again, Lull, for sponsoring this portion of my video. All right, guys, so we are headed into phase two of the toddler room makeover. I am headed to Home Depot to get some paint and like a drop cloth and all of 
that fun stuff so that we can paint the wall when Sebastian wakes up from his nap. Speaking of, I was asked on my Instagram if I would share Sebastian's experience with his first night sleeping in a full-size bed. He called me back in four times in the first 10 minutes of him having to be in there in the bed and I kept going in and just reassuring him like honey you're fine like this is your new big boy bed don't you love it and he was like yes I love it and then I would leave and then he'd come call me back in for no apparent reason like there was nothing he actually wanted and then he just laid there until he drifted off and now he's a pro he's been sleeping in there for several days on there and napping in there during the day so um we're good at this point but it was so cute the first night oh my gosh you guys the rain is out of control I was actually actually planning on besides just getting stuff for the paint I was gonna get a few things for the garden but now I don't really feel like it so the garden stuff will have to wait till tomorrow and I'm just gonna run in and grab this Ugh, I hate rain when I have to go out in it I just changed into my painting clothes and Brandon is right now putting down the painters tape so that we don't get it on the baseboards and on the walls on the side this is just going to be an accent wall so just this big main wall the paint color we're using ignore my fingernails i need to do them we're going with this blueberry pie color and this is i think these are yeah glidden or glidin paints i think we're gonna be pretty happy with it i guess if it's wrong we'll have to paint over it The wall is just about done. There are spaces that are still wet. So basically anywhere where you see like light paint, like these spots right here, that's wet. This whole area right here is still wet. But once it dries completely, we'll have a better idea of if I need to like do another coat or if it's okay. I'm thinking, and Brendan does too, we're probably gonna have to do another coat. But overall, it's going well and I'm really pleased with how it turned out. While this is drying, I think I'm gonna show you the light fixture that I just bought for his room. It's not here yet, but I can show you online. It's from Wayfair. This is the Jankowski 6 Light Sputnik Sphere Chandelier, except we have the brass one, and it looks like that. You can kind of see how the two colors work together of the light fixture and the, and the blue, and I just love that look. I think this is gorgeous, and it's fun it's a cool light fixture for a little boy's room but it's also really nice <laughs> so it doesn't look cheesy or anything like that while I was just sitting here I found this shelf at Target which will be ready in about an hour or so for pickup so I'll take you guys along with me to go get that also and I'm really sad to say this I think we're gonna be changing the big furniture as well we bought this furniture with the intention that Bash would just have it forever and I think that that's a good plan but I think that this furniture in particular is gorgeous as it is just isn't our style anymore I feel like this bed is very much like me but this bed isn't like a fun toddler boy so I think that that might be the case with this we are back in the car and I am going to go get the shelf from Target it is ready and I think I'm actually gonna go inside as well because I just want to see if there's any like little things that I can decorate the shelf with I don't necessarily think Target is the store that I'm gonna find like all the things that I want for him for there but there's like two crates in there that I really want to get and I know that they have just like plain wooden crates and I think that'll look cool so yeah I'm just gonna go and check for like just little things I can put on this bookshelf that I just bought so I really like the look of these thank god there's two of them so I'm gonna grab the last two I really like this pillow but there's only one and I feel like I'm being a little irresponsible by getting it here before going to home goods for a pillow there's not a big selection here of like blue oh there's another one down there I actually love this I think I'm gonna grab this I can always bring it back he also needs a lamp but I just don't know if Target is where I want to get it from I'm considering doing a sconce so I'm not sure we're in this was a total ordeal trying to get all this stuff into the car <laughs> but we did it I think I'm gonna end this vlog here I think this will be a good video for the opening phases of Sebastian's bedroom stay tuned for the next video because I'll be picking up my camera tomorrow 
and vlogging the beginning of my garden. I'm so excited and you'll possibly be able to see all this stuff set up in his room. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!